Zentangle, Zendoodle, Doodle, just drawing, whatever you call it. Grab a pen and come along with me to learn my pattern called Patchwork. Patchwork starts with an undulating line that waves across the page. Repeat the line, not exact, and then do it again below and one above for a total of four lines with three rows. Intersect those lines to make squares that are not quite even. Change the angle of the lines just a little bit and follow that wave as it goes across the page. Think of it like a patchwork quilt and the way that it would move as it bent and folded. Now go back and add dots at each intersection. And this takes a little while, so I'm going to fast forward a bit. And now we're ready to start our patchwork pattern. In every other block, do two lines that kind of mimic the lines that are at the side of that block. Be sure to skip one in between. And now we're going to do the opposite block on the, on the way down. We're going to skip so that it gives you that patchwork pattern. And now we're ready to cross those lines. Yep, it's like a little tic-tac-toe board inside. You still want to mimic the lines that are at the top and the bottom of your square now. And the last thing we do is we put in stitching. These are little lines that are over the edges of each of our first lines that we drew. And they're not even. They're, some are longer than others and they're at different angles. And that gives you the illusion of stitches. Now sometimes on the outside row, I'll only do the stitches on the clear blocks. It's up to you. That's Patchwork by T. You can use it in a fill pattern for other things as a border on your page, but have fun. Thanks guys. See you later.